Hey everyone, how is your day so far? For me, it's the day one after 400 of the genocide and I'm still surviving, so I feel okay. Many of you are arguing if Israel uh, has a intentions or planning to resettle in Gaza Strip and to, you know, steal more lands or not. So let's review the genocidal acts of Israel during the past month to see if Israel started already resettling and stealing the land or not. First of all, Israel has already decided and announced that there are no more civilians in the north of Gaza Strip and everyone still there, still in the north, are part of the military somehow and it's legal عادي, to be killed. يعني عادي, خلص, okay? Although we know and they know and everyone knows that the people in the north of Gaza Strip are normal families, children, women, elders, innocent people, patients, injuries, pregnant women, etc. That's the first thing. The second thing, for a whole month, they have been massacring and emptying the main towns, Jabalia, Beit Lahi, and Beit Hanun in the north of Gaza Strip. And they are now bragging that they have killed during one month, only one month, more than 1,000 people in the north of Gaza Strip and arrested another 1,000 people. They also said that people who are still in the north of Gaza Strip will not be allowed to uh, uh, have any humanitarian aid, they will not enter any humanitarian aid to the north. And they said that people who fled their homes will not be able or allowed to go back to the north again. And to make sure that people are not able to go back to the north again, they established a new checkpoint. Yes, I know Gaza is so small for all of these checkpoints and military checkpoints, but they always find a place and a purpose to do this. So. Uh, you can easily I notice from any satellite pictures that the north and the uh, the Gaza city are separated and no one is allowed to go to the north. They just tr kill anyone who tries to go to the north. So yeah, now they are cutting and separating Gaza Strip into smaller closed controlled areas. So yeah. This is happening in 2024 after 400 days of a genocide that is well documented and after all of you guys uh, started to know the reality, you know, we are not living in the same lie anymore that Israel is a poor state um, and some terrorists, uh, some neighbors terrorists uh, attacked uh, Israel while Israel is an occupation and the people of these lands that Israel was established on in 1948 are still waiting to get back to their homes and lands. Yes, this is still happening. What are the expectations? What is going to happen? No one knows. What I know is that Israel is emptying the land, preventing us from going back to our homes, annihilating the population. Uh, the cause, the Palestinian cause and the Palestinian existence, faking um, the history, the reality, um, taking advantage of the silence and of the weakness and helplessness of the people around the world that actually do not know the power of their governments and the power of their voices. Uh, to affect the governments and just to stop weaponize this monster to cut the economic arms of this monster and just to stop them to stop them to stop talking to start acting to march to Gaza Wallah, to march to Gaza Strip to stop this with all costs <sighs> thanks for hearing uh, my reviews and yeah it's your turn now to tell me if Israel has already started resettling in Gaza Strip and stealing the land or not yet. You know, some people are still saying that Israel is innocent. Yeah. And have the right to defend itself. Yeah.